Hello everybody, in Robson here. Welcome back to Farm Expert 2017. All right, so I got the McCormick at the shop here, and I sold the other trailer, and I sold a load of grain, and I realized that we have a tiny trailer, uh, much smaller than I would have liked. So we could actually upgrade our tractor to one of these ones. These are This is the used machine shop, I believe, is where we're at right now. So we do have quite a, a few other options, like this beast right here. 250 horsepower. $84,000. Technically, we could probably buy that, but we don't really need anything that crazy. This is what uh, we have. I think it's... No, not that one. Nope. We don't have one of these, but it's very similar. So what I'm looking at today is trailers. So they do have the Krampi or Kramp, uh, big body trailers in here. Uh, we're not going to get one of those because our tractor is not super, super powerful. Um, and it's not super, super big. Having one of these types of trailers that puts all the weight on the tractor may not be the best idea. So what I'm looking for is a bigger dolly trailer. Now they do have this Friedel Vox, which is good, but there's actually one a bit better, which is the Agro Liner right here. This is obviously very familiar to you guys. 16,900, so it's the same capacity as the other one. It's about $1,000 cheaper though. And I have no idea what that means right there. Can't tell you. Uh, but here's all the trailers they have at this particular shop here. So we're going to go for this Agra liner. So we'll go ahead and buy it. So we have $32,000 right now. And that is from selling a little bit of grain. Machine purchase in this place will appear in the front of the store. If there will be any, if there will be, that should be, that's incorrect. It should be said, it should say if there is any place for them, or if there is a place for them. Anyways, that's a different grammar related thing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Force of habit sometimes. All right, let's, uh, there we go. Let's get this trailer. So the reason I went for this dollar sty dolly style, why can I not go further than that? What's up with that? That's weird. Oh, interesting. So like, that's, I never knew that before. So like, you're only like, you can't turn all the way around in a circle because in real life, your head wouldn't do that. That's interesting. Is this the... Uh, where they yes it is good but that's kind of interesting because they set it up that way Ooh. there we go so like when you're inside you can't look all the way around so this should be okay for this particular tractor I think no we'll do while we're here uh, do they have weights here at all well they do same weights that we have in FS15, which is funny. Uh, is this an adjustable weight? I wonder. No. 300 gram. 300 gram kilogram. How much is this? 334. 6,000? This looks like the OEB weight, actually, which is kind of funny. I'm just going to get this one because it's, uh, it's still kind of expensive. We'll see what we can do without this. So I picked up this agro liner. It actually looks pretty good. Let's take a quick little look at it from the outside. So I still have my graphics set at that um, better quality one. Oh, that looks really nice, actually. Someone also mentioned this. I forget. Someone left um, a comment saying, oh, you can even uh, look them up together. Nice. Someone said a while back that the uh, the lighting in this game is a bit better than FS15. I'm inclined to agree. Like, it looks a little bit more realistic. Although things are very, like, they reflect a lot. So, anyhow, so what we're going to do is going to sell a load of grain to give ourselves a little bit more money. And I'll show you what uh, what has transpired since the last time. There we go. So here I am down here at this shop down here. And we want to head back up here. And I love that feature that you can just, you know, ping apart on the map and then head in that direction. Where am I going here? Backwards. I love that you can do that. Is that right? Yeah. It makes uh, traveling around the map so much easier. I'm not sure. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm still debating whether, whether they fixed the road situation or not. It looks like they didn't. I don't know. There were probably there definitely have been some patches. I'll have to double check. I don't know. I have Steam's, Steam set up sort of automatically uh, updates patches, so I don't really notice. I don't know why we're leaving so such crazy tracks on the road. It's like we're peeling rubber or something. Look at that. We must be going fast if we're doing that. 
I wonder if there's tire wear in this. That would be interesting, actually. You can change the tires, and I, it just looks I've changed these tires to the care tires before, and then what happened was uh, it switched back to the regular flotation type, whatever. Wow, really? That's a little bit big for that. Uh, change back to the normal tires, so. Here's our lovely bridge here. Goes over the road. Pretty nice. I'm still not sure what the CVT-1 and CVT-2 is. I, I know it's different. I'm, I'm assuming it's like a high and a low, but it doesn't really specify, and it doesn't seem to make a big difference at all. So here we are back in the main farm. And what we're going to do is going to sell a load of grain. So what I'll probably do is I'll sell one load of grain with you guys, and then I'll do a couple off camera. You can't do that with the... You can't hire somebody to do that, which is kind of strange, actually. you think you'd be able to. Alright. You do brake really fast in this game. Like, I could be going like 30 kilometers an hour and then hit the brakes and it would be like, done. And there's no way <laughs> in real life that would happen that quickly. I don't know, maybe with a tractor it would, but it seems unlikely, to say the least. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab some grain here. So we have a little bit of... Uh, what do we have? We have wheat and canola. Excellent. So let's sell... We already sold a little bit of canola, so we could do a little bit of... Uh, or we sold a little bit of wheat, I should say. Uh, let's go for the, the wheat. There we go. So while that's loading up, I'll show you what happened on the field since last time you guys were here. Oh, there was a sprint. Thank goodness. Every time I try to go in a game, there's no sprint. It always throws me off. All right, let me get over to this field over here. And I'll show you what I did. Or what I hired somebody to do, I guess, technically. So this has all been plowed here. They uh, apparently plowed around the field, do, apparently. But this has been plowed. Uh, if we bring up the information, F2, uh, it should tell us whether it's been plowed. So it's 100% plowed, not cultivated at all. So I don't know if you need to do any steps in between there. I should check out, what do they do here? But it's been plowed at the very least. So I could hire a worker to uh, cultivate. And I think this one's been plowed as well. But I. I, that straw would definitely not be sitting there still. That would be get, definitely get plowed under. But maybe that's why there's some of it and not all of it. I don't know. And the other fields, I think, have been plowed as well. So I don't know at what stage. Let's just check real quick. I don't know what stage they suggest to um, put fertilizer down. Um, spring, aerial spring of fertilizer. Sure, let's try that. How much is that going to cost me? Uh, where am I here? Uh, we own this field right here. Sure. 150? Where is it? Are we in the right area? Yeah. We should see the airplane. If, uh, if it's the right field. If not, we can always do this one and two. Where is it? Oh, there he is. That is cool. Ah, <laughs> that would be really bad in real life. Standing underneath that? Yikes. Is that it? Are you done? Or is he coming back? I wonder, I don't know, why can you, why is it only an aerial spraying? Like, why can't you do, like, other types of, because it's only aerial spraying of fertilizer and aerial spraying of herbicides and insecticides. Aerial spraying of fungicide. Like, why can't you hire somebody just to come in and spread fertilizer without it being an air scenario. I don't understand. Anyway, so this has been fertilized. Let's check the information now and see what it says. Wow, that was easy. 100% fertilized now. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Now let's see what happens when we cultivate. So this is kind of like a bit of an experimentation here. Uh, where are we here? So we hired a person to cultivate. Oh, there he is right there. Is he missing tractor parts? No, no just look that way from a distance. So he's cultivating it. Uh, it doesn't look that way, but I guess he is. He should be lowering that just a bit more, I think. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I think it's because of what happened. It's because it's, not, it's, cause it's close to the edge here. So anyways, 
All right, so let him do that, and we'll see how that works out. Uh, where's my vehicles? Let's enter the McCormick. There we go. Is that it? Is that all the wheat? Oh, really? I guess it didn't fully dump. I guess when I left the area, I just stopped dumping, which is strange. And now this particular trailer does have a tarp, and I don't know if it automatically goes on once you hit 100%. We'll find out soon enough. So. There you go, there's aerial spraying. But I'm still not sure, I'm, like, what doesn't make sense is like, why do they have aerial spraying but they don't have the other types of spraying as well? So that's what I'm kind of like confused about. Is that all of it? Yes. Ah, that's not good. Ah, so this tractor is not quite powerful enough for that. Poor. Yeah, it looks it looks like it's just not ready for that. <laughs> now that's a predicament, all right. How are you supposed to deal with that? Because I can't go forward. So I'm turning. I think something's wrong, though. So let's, because the tires aren't even turning. So let's, uh, can I detach a trailer here? Yeah, so even with the trailer detached I can't go anywhere yeah that's a problem with that okay so let's tell this tractor to go home apparently it's still running oh no what is wrong with this thing then okay so if this happens I'm gonna try this little feature right here this function calls a mechanic who partially repairs the most damaged parts. The vehicle can be fully repaired at the workshop. Remember about regular inspections. So there you go. Am I out of fuel then? No. Why is this tractor not running? Is there a parking brake that I'm unaware of? Oh, there it goes. Wow, that was weird. That was really strange. It's like it was... It was running, but not really. Doing a fine job of cultivating that field. Let's just check to see if that fertilizer stays in there. Just curious. Yeah, it's still... Oh, no, it doesn't. It actually doesn't uh, maintain your fertilization if you cultivate it in. Interesting. Okay. We'll leave it for the time being. Good to know for next time. Let's go sell some grain. Uh, and we need to go this way in a big old circle because our grain is over there so there you go so you have to like <laughs> the way they have it set up there we go so the way they have it set up is like if you it makes sense but like in reality you've been working it into the ground I guess I don't know all right Let's hook up to this trailer and hopefully... Did we just drive over the guard guardrail? I guess we did. Technically. See, there we go. See, I don't know what the deal was there. I'm like... It seemed a bit strange that it wasn't able to pull it. Like, that's the reason why I got the dolly trailer in the first place. Because I knew it might be a problem if it was all the weight was on the McCormick. So, all right, so we are heading to the grain cell area, which is this up here, which is, uh, do these gates automatically open? I can't remember. I think they do. Yes. So this is our main house where you can park one of your uh, trucks if you have a truck, which is kind of neat. What I'll do is, you've already seen this, so I'm going to come back when we hit when we actually get to the grain elevator. I'll see you in a second. All right, so we're just coming up to the drop-off point. As you can see here. Let's just take it easy. There we go. I'm not sure what information is supposed to be shown there. So I did see, I don't know, if the last time I, last time I recorded, I didn't see where the money was, but it's in the top left-hand corner. All right, let's see how much money we're at. 15, 2. So that's 16. 19, 20, maybe we've got 21. 
22. 23, wow. So this agroliner, I believe, can tip to the sides and... Right, I have to do it. Press the button again to lower it. <laughs> it can change to the sides. I can also... Uh, or dump to the side, I believe, too. Or maybe this one doesn't. Usually it can, though. Excellent. So that's quite a bit of money, actually. That was almost 10 grand. Nice. All right. So let's come over here and get a little bit of fuel from the fuel station while we're over in this direction. I wonder if they have indicators or anything. No. Just thought I'd check. Alright, let's come in here and get a little bit of fuel. Yes, I would like to enter the fuel station. Buy fuel. Your machine? Okay, let's buy some fuel. Okay. That's not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. That's lame. <laughs> I thought you got to drive up. I guess if you drive up to the uh, to the actual pumps, you can do it too, but you don't even need to do that. How do I have two kilograms of wheat in here? Oh, well. Apparently, I didn't wait long enough for it to be... Uh, uh, let's just set our point back here so I know where I'm going or else I will get lost not paying attention see anyways let's meet you back at the farm so I just came across something I want to show it to you guys this is the uh, place where one of the hard workers um, one of the hard workers uh, plowed and let me just give you an example of how these like furrows work in this context so like that's what it does so see how it goes into the uh, furrow there so like that gives you an idea of what it's like. So that's more like in real life. Now Farm Sim does have this on some vehicles, but it's not like every vehicle doesn't have that. But that gives you an idea. And you can see how the ground is like changing there. Can you see that? I don't think I can zoom in any more than this. So you see how the ground's changing a little bit underneath the tires there? Uh, just give you an idea. But it changes a little bit. And that's how that looks a little bit. So that's kind of neat. So that's one of the aspects of the game that they did they, they did they did well, let's say. And the dirt skin on here is not too bad. It looks like it's caked on, though. Alright. Oops, wrong direction. So what will happen is if it's like a rainy day or something like that, uh, you'll definitely run into problems. So that field's been plowed. That one's been plowed. That one's being cultivated. Alright. Let's go back through the main gates here. This is our garage. And... I guess we're supposed to go that way. We're going to skip this little area here. If you can hear that beeping in the background, I apologize. Can you drive through that? You can drive through that hedge. Good to know. Alright, so that was the, the rest of the wheat. Let's see... If we can sell, we should be able to sell almost all of the canola in one load too. All right, so we have 15 tons. Oh, we're not quite there yet. There. So it doesn't let you dump unless you're underneath it. Oh, okay, that's good to know. So let's see how much canola we can actually get in here. And so it shows it doesn't show how oh no, there it is it shows the capacity and like it says now we have 56,000 liters or kilograms sorry that's weird though because it shows in this menu it shows in tons in this menu it shows in kilograms and on the bottom right hand corner corner it shows your percentage so that's a bit odd so our capacity is 18,000 kilograms I think it showed liters in the other screen, so I don't understand. Oh, okay, so 1,000 kilograms is one ton. Uh, and I think if you look carefully, it's ton with an E. And there is a, there is a difference in Canada. There is ton with like with no E. So like, I think my father-in-law says a tone, I think is what he calls it, just because there's ton and then there's tone. Like this is what they would measure. So there's a bit different. This is 1,000 uh, 1, kilograms. Interesting. Anyways, so... Let's take this to the market. I just thought of this little piggy went to the market. So anyways, whoa, what happened there? Jeez. 
So I'll take this to the market, and uh, we'll come back and see how much money we have, and maybe we'll buy something new. Alright, see you in a sec. Alright, just coming back up to the shop with a load of canola, so we have uh, 15,000 kilograms, or 15 tons, tones, however you want to say it. And let's see how much money we make. So we're at 23,000. Let's see how much money we make. 23,000, we've already got 5, 7, 10,000. Wow, that's a lot more money than I thought we were going to make from that. 50,000. Wow, that was a lot. So, get the last little bit out of there. Nice. I think it can tip to the left and to the right, too. Maybe not this model. Anyways, that was a lot of money. Holy smokes. Anyways, let's go back to the equipment shop and see what we can get. Alright, so here we are at the other machine shops. This is the northern machine shop. Let's see what they have here. So I guess, I guess it looks like the they share the same... Well, no, they don't. I thought they I was going to say they share the same uh, types of tractors, but obviously they don't because they only have the two here. Harvesters, that's not helpful for us. So here's a forge harvester, for example, which is pretty cool. Trailers, we don't need a trailer. Wow, they don't have much here in comparison to the other place. Tillage. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to forego the tillage, I think, for now. Uh, planter. We, we definitely need a planter. Uh, price... 13,000 size. I think our seed drill it doesn't say if there's any kind of uh, the seed drill uses used for seeding the field. Depending on the type and design of the drill can be adapted to a particular seed and working width. So in this case we want to plant probably so canola and soybeans and wheat. Okay, so that works for that. That's good to know. Sprayers uh, we need one of these eventually. That's 20 grand for the Kuhn. Capacity of 480 liters. And this guy here is... Actually, we could probably buy that one too. Solid fertilizer spreader though. So we don't actually have any solid fertilizer. So that's not very helpful for us. Okay, potatoes, orchard stuff. We don't have an orchard yet. Mowing, we don't even need that stuff yet. So I think what we'll do is we... How much is the baler? could get the baler, but we don't have any animals, so there's no point in getting that. Tillage, we're going to forego tillage for the time being. I think what we'll do is we'll buy the cedar, and I think we'll buy the fertilizer spreader. Oh, can I not afford that? Or is it just because there's one item there already? That makes no sense. How come I couldn't just buy the second thing already? Yeah, that's weird. Apparently it's not going to let me buy that second thing right now. So here's the cedar. Now the one thing I'm a little concerned about is, is this tractor powerful enough? It should be. We may need to wait. Because this is back on the three-point hitch, right? Let's go a little bit further. Let's get in cab here. Here we go. Okay, seems like we're okay. And they have markers and everything, that's kinda neat. So what we'll do as well, ugh, it's not P. I keep pressing like farm sim buttons to do this. Um, so let's also buy a weight. Do they have weights here? No, okay, well, that's a shame. <laughs> Can I buy this now? Yes, there we go. So there we go, we got the fertilizer spitter as well. Excellent. And I improved my ability. Now, one of the things that's really neat about these things, so they have the skills here. Now, I'd really like this, this little aspect here. So what happens is, gained while driving, it helps save fuel and reduce wear on machines. So as you improve certain skills, you actually reduce certain things. And I think that is awesome. So like, for example, like this for it reduces your, saves your fuel and reduces wear on machines. I have apparently a lot of the manager already, which reduces the cost of deducing deducting there it is deducting the cost of commission work so it actually reduces how much you are uh, you actually have to pay that's just pretty neat uh anyways let's we're actually in august here in the game so let's just turn the tractor off here for a second this is the other aspect of this game that looks terrible uh, the other aspect of this game is we have kind of like time so right now we're in august which is not very helpful for us at all so 
Use the calendar to move forward in the game. Do not jump too far forward to lose the crops. We don't have any crops right now uh, that we can lose, so it's fine. So what happens if we use the buttons below to control the time of, uh, in the game? You can also wait for the next morning. So you can wait for the next morning. So it has that kind of day cycle feature. Like for us, it doesn't make a difference. It's still August. And in Ontario, we already harvested our wheat and our canola and soybeans. We don't have any soybeans, so it doesn't make a difference. So technically, we would just wait until spring. Now, let's say we want to go to the 31st. So we don't have anything else we can do right now. Let's see what happens when we, if we go to the 31st. So we're just at the 31st now, and nothing else has happened. And what happens if I want to go to the next month? Do I just wait a day then? I guess so. That's pretty neat though, that you have that feature. And is it gonna go to September? Okay, yeah, we're in September now. So if if I were planting winter wheat, I would be doing it sometime. Now I don't know if this game like actually makes that kind of distinction between like winter wheat. Like I don't think it does. Let's go to uh tasks, so I can't do any of this right now. But I don't think it makes a distinction between like uh winter wheat. For example, in Canada, we would plant wheat in like the fall and it would like, I believe the word would be germinate over the winter if memory serves. I think that's how you'd say it. Oh, look at the sun. Nice. Um, so that's how that would work. So anyways, what I'll do is I'll stop the episode for there for now. And hopefully next episode we'll come back and maybe do a little bit of planting. Uh, if there's anything specific you want to see, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to accommodate. And uh, that'll be it for me for today. My name is Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Farming Farm Expert 2017. I know I did. It's kind of an interesting game to kind of explore. So if you like what you saw, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more Farm Expert 2017. Catch you guys later.